Hi, everybody. James Savolsky back here for EA Sports. Well, the battle lines were drawn in Game 1. What's in store for Game 2 of this series? A lot of bounce on both blue lines here, and we are about set to drop the puck here at center. Don't you just love playoff hockey? Listen to this place. Let's get after it. Quick pass to Everly. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Florida's got the puck in their own end. Drives to the paint. Oh, caught him with his head down. Some players get into the game by physically engaging early. There's a fine line there, but that was executed perfectly. And there's the whistle icing the call. 50-50. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. Still looking for our first goal. And they win the offensive zone faceoff. Now let's see if they can capitalize. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. Off the draw, they take possession. Down the left wing and into the offensive no! zone. Slides it up ahead from the right wing. Through the neutral zone, it goes to the middle. Oh, love the defensive stick work there to poke that one away. Moves the puck into the attacking area. And that's blocked. Moves with the puck in the corner. Works the puck across the line. He scores! And just like that, it's a 1-0 hockey game. Well, they started like a freight train just steamrolling their opponent, James. I, I mean, they really dictated right from the onset of this game. That tells me one thing. They were prepared coming in. Well, goalie coaches work all the time with one screen or one player in front, James. And he's got to do a good job of finding this puck. I mean, it just beats him clean. The Everblades were looking for a good start in this one, and they have certainly accomplished that with the first goal of the game just minutes in. Well, you know they would have talked about making sure that they establish some presence and some pace in the game, in particular in the opening frame, James. But to get up a 1-0 lead on your opponent just minutes into the game, that is a fantastic start. The Swamp Rockets look to start the transition game. Takes the feed from the left side. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Shot! Stops him with the glove! Cormier's gonna hang on for a whistle, and staying focused is key when you haven't seen a lot of work here, Cheryl. Well, it's part of their mental preparation as a goaltender. Even when you're not busy, you have to stay dialed in, follow the action. He's doing exactly that, and he makes a nice cover. The Everblades take possession off the faceoff. Looking for space inside the D zone. Gaining momentum along the way. Fires it on net. Oh, misses the net. You know he'll want that one back, Cheryl. Well, he certainly will, James. That puck is following him around, and you can see he saw the opening, but wasn't able to put it on net. Lots of time left in this period. Florida's ahead, 1-0. The Swamp Rabbits win the draw. From along the walls, they're gaining momentum. Great heads up play to poke it away in the offensive end. The Everblades have played from the defensive zone. The Swamp Rabbits gain possession. Here's a chance! How did he stop that one? The goaltender is very aware of where that puck is in that low slot area and defends his crease by getting out, being aggressive, and taking away any of the net. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. one nothing to score. Grabs it in his own end. The Everblades carry it along the wall. Sends it out in front. And that's covered up for the whistle. And a much-needed face-off will give them a breather. Moments away from the face-off. Let's get back to the action. The Everblades win that offensive zone face-off. Oh, he made the save! How did he stop it? I have no idea, James. I mean, he was down and out, but profound athleticism and desperation got him back in to make it. But it continues. 
is here, but this crowd still buzzing after what we saw. What a stop that was. Oh, uh, yeah, and they're saying thank you to the goaltender right now, James. They're still on their feet. They're electric right now. And really, it's a nice feeling. Why? Because it doesn't always go this way. So when you have it, you embrace it. Florida's got the lead here in the first as they have been the more dominant team in the offensive area. And they'll start with possession. And that doesn't reach the net. Greenville's looking to break out. Oh, and he tracks it perfectly in the offensive end. Takes the feed. Battle along the wall. The Everblades scoop it up along the boards. Moberg's got it in the defensive end. And now he passes up to Carpenter. Greenway's got it against the boards. Oh, gets a little piece of it and keeps it out of the net. Cormier's dialed in and able to redirect that puck to the corner. Takes possession. Stops him again. They're like a swarm of bees out here with this pressure. Kick it along the boards. From behind the cage. to Lewis. Gaining momentum up along the side. Takes a shot. Too many bodies in the way. Florida's got the puck in the defensive end. And now they look to make something happen from the neutral zone. Here's a short pass to Pendenza. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. Oh, you win respect for your teammates doing that. What a block. And the puck's kicked free. Just a little too much contact and couldn't hang on to the puck. Tremendous save on the play! What incredible save. No idea how we got to that one, James. And the shooter is absolutely stunned. What a stop. Such an impressive save, James. And I love to look at these ones again because it's not just being in great position. It's being desperate. It's finding a way to get to the puck, keeping your eye on it at all times, tracking it, out-battling and out-willing everyone around you. Faceoff coming up here in the offensive zone. Well, they'll want to continue with the sustained pressure because the goaltender, he is fatigued. With the stop. Scores! And the kid comes up clutch here in the postseason. Oh, he does it, James. Gets his first playoff goal. I mean, it's incredible the confidence that this should give him. I mean, the pressure and the stakes are high, and he delivers. The Everblades are on cruise control here in period number one, Cheryl. Yeah, they've got a two-goal lead late in this first period. It's exactly the start they wanted to. They've been pressing all game, but they can't get complacent. They've got to continue to push. Greenville's won the faceoff at center. Moves inside! Oh, what a stick save! And the goalie covers up for the whistle. Florida's been very impressive to watch in the offensive zone, and they lead it here in the first. The Everblades get a hold of the puck in their own end. Moves it to Sambrook. Passes the puck over to Jostling. Moves along the boards with some purpose. The Swamp Rabbits take possession in the defensive end. Steps across the blue line. Fires it, and he was ready for that save. There's the whistle. We'll get a face-off after the goalie covers up. Past the halfway mark of this period, the Everblades have recently taken a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. Florida's going to start with the puck in their own end. Sambrook's taking it from his own end. Quick shot! Club save! In front, and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. Puck possession so critical in today's game, and the official ready to drop the puck right here. And they win the draw here in their own end. Taken down, and the officials caught it. Let's see the call here. Well, the official is right there to make the tripping call, and it's a pretty easy one as the stick gets caught up in his opponent's face. on their first power play of the game, James. And this is an opportunity to look at the coverage as well. 
I'll see how they're playing it, whether they're going to be aggressive or sit back. Can it maintain possession? The Swamp Rabbits gain control of the puck against the wall. Nice zone entry from the left. Broken up by Riley. The Everblades move the puck in the defensive zone. The Swamp Rabbits have it against the wall. Working the puck deep inside their own end. Here they come. Keeps a hold of the puck. Great poke check on the reach. Trying to clear the puck. Stoppage and play offside the call. They'll get set to drop the puck as this power play continues. And they take control of the puck here in the neutral zone. Jostling's penalty is almost expired. Greenville's got the puck along the boards. Both teams are now back to even strength as the power play has expired. And he comes up big with the stick save, getting all of it with the paddle. As a goaltender, you have to be able to read and anticipate the play. He does it perfectly and is able to negate the shot. Into the offensive zone, down the right wing. And that's blocked in traffic. The Swamp Rabbits take it across the line. The Everblades get a hold of the puck in their own end. Sends the pass over. The Everblades have it now. Good use of the body to knock them off the puck. And he's tripped up on the play. Referee's hand goes up here. And a good save on the play as action continues. Scoops up the puck now. And he slides it quickly to Everly. Let's see what the official makes for the final decision. Oh, no. There he goes again, James. It's the second time this period. And it's real tough to get into a rhythm on your bench when you consistently take penalties. Special teams opportunity for both sides as the man advantage unit is back to work again. Power plays more time on the ice, the ability to get that puck moving. These players know exactly what they're doing. They work on it in practice. Spoke to some of them earlier today at the pregame, and they talked about the execution and the precision in particular with their puck movement. Quick shot. Enjoying the game here tonight. Another big face off here on this power play. Darcy's won the draw here in their own zone. And they get the puck out of harm's way. Cutting to the front of the net. Oh, that one pops up short as he just gets enough of that one. Darcy's recognizing they're still short handed here as they get ready for the face off. Greenville's won the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Florida's in transition. Greenville's got possession of the puck. Everly's gained the line and on the attack. Stales has it in the defensive end. And the puck clears the zone. Jocelyn's out of the box. He owes a lot of credit to that penalty killing unit. Body language says it all, James. Have a look at the unit here. Every single one of them deflated. They know that they needed to score. And this is the expectation of the power play. And they go back to the bench with their heads facing their skates. The Everblades gain possession along the wall. Darcy's got the puck. Pokes it away in his own end. Grabs the puck in the defensive zone. Great feed from the left side. Time to get a clean sheet of ice here as period number one comes to an end. As you heard the horn sound, we'll be back with much, much more as this is going to be a fun one tonight. Programs for tonight's game are available on the concourse. Featuring complete player listings for both teams. We are about ready to get underway here for the second period. The second stanza is underway as the puck is dropped. Let's go. 
Well, Cheryl, we got 20 minutes under our belts in this one. How do you sum up the performance? Scores! He goes up the rebound and tucks it home. Oh, he burns the goaltender on that one. Picks up the rebound and buries it home. Boy, looks frustrated now. James knows that you got to redirect that puck to a safe spot. The Swamp Rabbits have jumped right back into this one here in the second with that goal. And you can certainly feel the momentum changing tides right there, James, especially after that goal. They've cut the deficit within one. Pimpton's has won the draw. Florida's got the puck along the wall. Hangs on to the puck after taking a hit. Swatted away with the stick in the defensive zone. Greenville's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Ahead of steam now towards the front. And we are tied. New game here, Pounder. Oh, yeah, it's a new game, James. Uh, but I really like the pushback to get the equalizer. And now it's what they do with that momentum. This next shift, it's critical. Well, he's in tight to the net, James, and he knows that he's not going to have much time or space to get it off, so he elects to use the snapshot and beats the goaltender. Greenville's really changed the complexion of this game. Look at this. We're all evened up here in period number two, Cheryl. Yeah, and to do it at the beginning of the second is key. You really want to dictate pace and send a direct message to your opponent, and they do that with that goal. Great use of the stick in the defensive end by Moeber. Florida's got the puck against the boards. Sends the pass in front. Great defensive heads-up play to pick it off. Skates to the crease. Fantastic save. Cornet is a great goaltender who understands where the threats are. And this one's in the slot area, and he manages to get to position and make the save. Picked up along the boards by Moeber. Can't keep a hold of it as he's jostled off the puck. Jocelyn stick handling in his own zone. The Everblades played along the boards. Grabs the puck in the corner. Here's a shot. And he catches that one with the glove. Everly's been on fire lately. Everything he throws at the net seems to be going in. When it's working for you, you gotta be confident. You feel like nothing can go wrong. Lots of time left in this period. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. The Swamp Rabbits gain the zone. Florida's gained possession. Takes the feed. Quick feed to Riley. Handles the puck. To the low slot. And that caroms off a body in the lane. And they come up with possession off that battle. Nice feed at center, moves up ahead now. Poked away and forces the turnover at center. Oh, and just like that, steals the puck and goes the other way. Florida's got a hold of the puck. Takes it and looks ahead. And that's poked away by Coyle. And now he moves it quickly to Freeman. Carries the puck through the neutral zone. Florida's looking to break out of their own end. And he's taken down the officials are signaling for a penalty. Stones him in front. Here's the shot. Play is stopped, and here's the official call. These are typically easy calls for officials to make as the opponent goes falling to the ice at the hands of your stick. Tough one to take. The Everblades get their man advantage unit out there for the first time tonight. First power play opportunity for this team. It's going to start in the face-off circle, getting possession with the win, and then looking to set up. And there's a little boost from off the wing as the centers were tied up there. Carpenter's lugging the puck. Moves it quickly over to Pendenza. Bednard's got the puck, and he's going to hang on. Pendenza is looking to win this draw and this man advantage here. Florida's won the faceoff. And he gets just enough of it to keep it out from the back of the net. 
Bedard's helping his team with his rebound control and really keeping the puck away from the front of the net and cleaning up the trash. Retrieves the puck, trying to kickstart this power play. Takes the bank feed. Good heads up defensive play as he extends the stick and manages to clear the zone. Nice feed from the left side up the middle. Pimpton's has crossed the line and is on the attack now. Here's a chance. The Swamp Rabbits penalty killers come up huge. Here's a shot. Oh, what a club save. Wow. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Pimpton's has won the faceoff, and now let's see what they can do. What the stop. I'm not sure where the defense is, but I'll tell you what, the goaltender has been outstanding, made a flurry of saves to keep his team in this one. The Everglades get a hold of the puck along the boards. Florida's got control of it now from their own end. And he takes the feed. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Greenville's gained possession along the boards. From the left side, they enter the offensive zone. Moves it to the middle, and he denies that great opportunity there. The setters will glide into the dot. And a solid job tying up his opponent. Gains the zone from the right. Good reach to the stick to knock the puck away. Greenville's got it in their own zone. Knocked away. Florida's got a hold of the puck now. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. Slides the puck over. Scores! The go-ahead goal puts them in front. Well, now they're in front, James, so they'll have some energy. You know that their first few strikes be more urgent, but they'll have to be accountable on the other side of the puck as well. Well, this is an unlucky bounce, James. I mean, when you're a goaltender, you play your angles, you know your set positions, but you can't get set in a scramble like this, and it winds up in the back of the net. The Everblades are up by one, and this is certainly a team that seems to play with more confidence when they're not chasing the game, Cheryl. Yeah, it's always better to be when you're in front, James. I mean, you know that you have the lead. You have a little more confidence when the puck's on your stick, but there's a lot of runway left. They have to play with that confidence, but they have to manage the puck as well. Riley's got the puck in his own zone. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Blocked in front. Great presence on the ice to knock that down. The Swamp Rabbits are in transition. Poking up with the stick in the defensive end. The Everblades will play it in their own end. Moves the puck. Now a quick pass to Riley. Through pass ahead. The Swamp Rabbits have it now. Takes the puck at the point. Oh, what a stop with the pad by Cormier. And he takes the feed. Works it across to Stales. Moves it to the middle. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Sends it quickly to Stales. Oh, and a board rattling hit right there. Uh, certainly was lined up perfectly. Body on body. Weight distributed right in there. the midway mark of the frame. The Everblades are giving their fans something to cheer about as they lead it 3-2. Nice start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. Oh, and he somehow got a little piece of it, and it stays out of the net. Down the right wing and into the offensive zone. A 
officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. The Everblades win the faceoff at center. Sends it into the offensive zone. Sends a pass over. And he slides it quickly to Pendenza. Florida's got the puck against the half wall. Quick pass to Such. He carries the puck up along the wing. Here's a shot! And that carries right off the mask! Well, that's the type of save they say. Use everything to get in front of it, James. That jolts off the mask. Maybe a little dizzy after that one. Just here in the late stages of this frame, we are all tied up in this one. Pendenz has won it off the faceoff. Carpenter's moving the puck through his own zone. Grabs control of it at the point. Here's a pass down low. Moves it to Pendenza. Denies him! Greenville's got it in their own zone. There's the whistle as the puck is frozen up. got the puck after winning the defensive zone faceoff. Gaining momentum in the offensive end. Here's a shot. Shuts him down. And he takes the pass. Handles the pass. Way too much congestion blocks that. Here he is in close. Well, he has been under siege, and I'm loving his compete level. I mean, he's making consecutive saves one after another. Toss it up on the play. Greenville's looking to break out. And the puck departs the zone. And we're going to get a face-off after the offside. And the centers glide towards the dot here as we got a face-off set to go. Greenville's won the draw in the neutral zone. Oh, he got all of that against the boards. Late goings of this period. We got a tie game. The Swamp Rabbits win that offensive zone faceoff. Florida's got the puck. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Shot! Tremendous close save by Pickard! Under a minute to go here inside the second period. Feed to neighbor. That's blocked by Bednar. There's the whistle as the puck stopper likes to hang on. Greenville's got possession here in their own end. Through center. Greenville's ready to go on the attack. now tonight. It's a chance to go grab that final snack. Go stretch your legs because a big third period is just around the corner. Welcome back. James Sabalski ready to bring you all the play-by-play. -play. Here we go. Period number three. It's been a back-and-forth affair and it's been a fun one tonight. 
Hart's carrying it ahead. Florida's got the puck against the wall. What a close save by Bittner. Puck is frozen, and we get a stoppage in play. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. It's all tied up. Good job tangling up his opponent here. We got a stoppage. Let's get the call. The Everblades are getting penalized for slashing. The Swamp Rabbits send their man advantage unit out once more. They haven't scored on the power play yet, but they have another opportunity. The key to this one, gain possession so they can set up. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. And they get the puck out. Here's a chance to make something happen inside the neutral zone. Centering pass! And that's intercepted! And they send it down the ice. The Swamp Rabbits looking against the half wall. Here's a blast! Oh, it's so good! Oh my goodness, what a stop! Oh, that's unbelievable, James. I have no idea how he got to that puck. It's some gymnastics at his finest. Oh, Athletic save, James. I mean, that's just all about competing, finding a way to get to the puck. Such an impressive save. Love looking at this one again, James. You know that this goaltender is dialed in, so focused when they're doing everything to get to the puck and keep their opponent at bay. Can they capitalize on this power play? Here comes the faceoff. the draw and a nice job locking up his opponent and a successful clearing attempt well if they're going to do something with this man advantage now's the time they don't have the luxury of time james they have to be urgent and get the puck up ice the swamp rabbits fail to capitalize on the power play well i really like this pk unit james just working in sync almost as if they're on a pendulum or a Controlling the offensive zone, everything now, it's on the line. On a deflected shot, everyone always talks about the stick positioning. How about the timing to get to the slot area as well? And the ability to just tap it down and redirect it. The Swamp Rabbits now have the lead here in period number three, and it's crunch time now. It is crunch time, and it's crush times, James. I mean, it's been back and forth all game. Now you find yourself in the lead, so you have the momentum. You've killed your opponents, so continue to hold it, continue to apply the pressure. Souch is running and gunning tonight, James. He got the go-ahead goal earlier, and now he's looking for more. Offside the call, we'll get a reset. The Swamp Rabbits have certainly subscribed to the quantity theory offensively tonight. They lead it and have been busier in the offensive zone. Florida's won it. Takes the feed and center and moves up ahead. The Everblades will play from the corner. Grabbed along the boards by Condensa. Here's a great use of the stick right there to poke it away. Here's a short pass to Pendenza. The Swamp Rabbits will play it from the defensive zone. And that's knocked away. And close! What a save by Cormier! And this is a dialed-in goaltender. Very aware, knows where the shooter is in that low slot, and makes the save. Greenville's got the puck. And the puck's booted away. Passes ahead from the right side. And he takes the dish. Denies him! He got all of it! Riley's got it in the defensive end. Plays the puck up ahead. That stretch pass was a beauty, James. Great read by the keeper to poke it away. Bednard's in such great position. He's able to redirect that puck to safety right to the corner. And the puck's not loose. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. Gains the zone through center. Here's a shot. Makes the glove stop. Cormier's got it, and he's going to hang on as we get a whistle. Well, he's been dialed in right from puck drop, and he has been under seas, James. Nice job to hold on to that puck. Now they can hit the reset button. Nearing the midway mark of the period. Greenville's got a one-goal lead here. They're up 4-3. Moves it quickly over to Martin. 
And the shot dies in the traffic jam. Carries it in. Takes a shot. Comes up with the stop. And it's a quick pass to Moberg. Hammers it on net. And that goes off the player. Didn't get all of it, but just got enough of it with the trapper. I love the way that he battles and competes for this puck, James. I mean, he loses it for a second, then he finds it, and he makes the save. Face off coming up here, and Cheryl, let's see if they can keep that momentum going. No question about it, James. We know where the momentum lies right now after some sustained pressure, heavy pressure, heavy forecheck, lots of shots going to the net. The goaltender is fatigued. You want to make sure that you can continue to apply that pressure and see if you can squeak one by. From his own end, he picks up the puck. Moves it around along the half wall. And that's broken up. From one point man to another. Excellent use of the stick as he knocks that one away. Comes up with a big stop. There's the whistle as the goalie hangs on. The centermen glide into position. Comes in off the wing as both centers were tied up on the draw. Greenville's got possession here in the neutral zone. The Swamp Rabbits are across the line and into the offensive end. Oh, they telegraph the pass, and he picks it off. Centering pass, and that's stopped. Bednard's going to opt for the whistle. I don't mind this call here in the third. Neither do I. Listen, he has been so dialed in all night, James. He has been excellent, arguably their best player. And he's trying to preserve the lead here by holding on to this one to get the face off. Greenville's got the win off that draw. Poked away in the offensive zone by Newber. Scooped up along the wall by a pop. Stopped by the goaltender. Well, that shot came quick, and it was right out front. He had to be sharp. He had to be right on it and show his brilliant reflexes. Past the midway mark in this period. The Swamp Rabbits have just had a little more offense than their opponents tonight. They lead it 4-3. Across the line and on the attack. Turned aside with that club by Cormier. In front of the net, and the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. Off the face, off, they take the puck. Quick pass to Neighbor. The Everblades play it along the wing. Oh, what a stop with the paddle! Now the shooter's gonna run out of real estate because he does a great job of getting out of top of the crease and taking away all when you make yourself as big as possible, there's less holes in the net. Into the attacking area from the left side. Grabs the puck. Oh, to Madison with the paddle save. A timely save is everything to your team, and this goaltender, he bails his team out. Taken along the wall by Riley. The Swamp Rabbits look to start the transition game. Now into the offensive zone from the right side. Shot! And we'll get the whistle after the goaltender hangs on. Officials are set. Players seem ready. We're ready to get this thing back underway. Nice job tying up his opponent. Takes the feed ahead from the left side. Excellent stick work on the play. Along the boards, they battle for the puck back and forth. The Swamp Rabbits have it now. Here we go, up and rush. Too much congestion blocks the shot. Along the half wall with the puck. Quick feed down low. Here's a chance. Takes the save. Let's it go. And the traffic neutralizes that threat. My goodness, this has been a pressure-filled shift here. And some physicality here. Point to point pass. There's a textbook body check. Scooped up by the D. And they skated out of the danger zone. Centering pass in front. Looking to set up offensively. Great 
make use of the twig as he pokes that one away. Takes the pass. Shot. Oh, and somehow he gets a sliver of it and keeps it at bay. Bedard's been outstanding tonight, James. I mean, he's made the saves he's had to and really given his team an opportunity to win. You can't ask for more than that. Tangible effort that you can't teach, James. That's all about desperation and the will to stop that puck. Florida's on the attack. Can't stay on his feet after that hit. From center, they get into the attacking area. Florida's got the puck in their own end. Mobert stick handling in his own zone. Penalty coming up as the play's blown dead. Oh, the one goal lead. There's a small margin of error, James, and to protect it, you can't be in the box. Now they're shorthanded, and they got to find a way to kill it off. Carla Faye is standing by with who she thought had the better performance. Martin's got my vote here tonight, guys. I know he hasn't recorded any points, but I still like how he's competed and stayed engaged. And they continue to fight for that puck along the wall. The Everblades gain control of the puck. Everyone play on as that gets a piece of the clock. The Swamp Rabbit's got a hold of the puck under man. He may have a step here. Breakaway. His head is up the entire way, and he's reading exactly what the goaltender is giving him. He sees some daylight, quickly shot, and he buries it. Just moments away from the resumption of this power play. They're ready to drop the puck here for this faceoff. The Swamp Rapids win the draw here in the neutral zone. The Everblades have it from their own end. Here they come up along the wing. Fires it on net and makes the save. And they'll get it out of the defensive end. The Everblades move to the offensive zone. Takes a shot. Oh, he gets a blocker on him. What a stop by Bittnard. Goaltender has made his way to the bench. The extra attackers out. They need a goal here big time. There's the whistle. Let's see what the referee saw. Well, the official is right there to make the call, and no question about it, it's tripping. Anytime you take someone's feet out from under them, you're going to head to the box for two. Greenville's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. Florida's got it in the defensive zone. Here's an opportunity to get the puck out of their own end. There's the whistle as the puck goes out of play. Still shorthanded here as they slide in for the faceoff. Florida's won the faceoff deep in their own end. Steos plays it along the wall. On the attack along the boards. Moves it to the middle. And that carries off a twig in front of the net. And as the final seconds tick away, listen to this place recognize a hard-earned victory. jumps out to the early 1-0 lead. There was the counter punch that we expected tonight to even the series show. Uh, I think we're getting a little bit of a snapshot as to what this series is going to look like, James. And you, know, you get down one, and you know that you've got to claw your way back in. You've got to split, because if you go down two, that's way too much momentum and runway for your opponent. Fun night at the rink, and for all of us here on the EA Sports team, I'm James Sabalski. Good night.